Bee Venom creams are often marketed as miracle skincare products that can erase everything from wrinkles and spots to skin tags and other blemishes. But do they really live up to the hype? Bee Venom is a complex cocktail of biologically active compounds. The main one is melatonin, which makes up about 50% of the venom and is known for its strong anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial effects. Because of this, researchers have started looking into whether bee venom could help with certain skin issues, but the science is still pretty limited. By the way, I review a lot of supplements here, so subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated. And support me on coffee if you enjoy the content. When it comes to acne, there are a few small studies worth mentioning. One found that a bee venom cream helped reduce both red inflamed pimples and the smaller non-inflamed bumps. Another open label trial, which means everyone knew what treatment they were getting, showed that a purified bee venom serum applied twice a day lowered acne severity. However, this study didn't include a placebo group, so it's hard to know how much of the improvement was due to the treatment itself. For eczema, one small study found that using a moisturizer with bee venom twice a day for four weeks significantly reduced both the size of eczema patches and itchiness compared to a regular moisturizer. As for wrinkles, there's a study where women applied a diluted bee venom serum to their faces twice daily. The results showed modest reductions in wrinkle depth, number, and overall area. But again, there was no placebo group to compare against. Taken together, these early findings suggest that bee venom creams might help with acne and eczema, possibly by killing acne-causing bacteria and calming inflammation. When it comes to anti-aging claims, especially for things like wrinkles, skin tags, or pigmentation, the evidence just isn't there. The amounts of bee venom used in these studies were tiny, typically between 0.005% and 0.01% to avoid irritation. Some products on the market don't even contain real bee venom at all, just other bee-related ingredients like honey, so it's important to check the label carefully. Interestingly, most of the research on bee venom has focused not on creams, but on injecting it for conditions like chronic pain and autoimmune disorders. Even here, the science is still early and somewhat mixed. In people with knee osteoarthritis, for example, injecting bee venom into acupuncture points on the knees and back has been shown to reduce pain and improve physical function compared to a placebo injection. A small study in patients with frozen shoulder also found pain pain relief from bee venom injections, though it didn't improve movement or flexibility. There's also some early evidence that bee venom injections might help with certain autoimmune conditions. In people with Parkinson's disease, for example, injections into acupuncture points led to minor improvements in motor symptoms and quality of life compared to a placebo. But in multiple sclerosis, live bee sting therapy didn't seem to help with symptoms. While the buzz around bee venom creams might sound exciting, the science behind them just isn't there yet. If you're looking for a skincare product with more solid evidence to back up its benefits, you're much better off reaching for a niacinamide serum. It's well studied, more reliable, and actually proven to help with things like skin texture and tone. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Have you ever used bee venom creams? And what are your experiences? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know who can use the info.